Look alive, sunshine. You know what it is. I'm your host, Shadow. And holy shit, don't fall, Mike. No, don't, no. Ah, oh, god damn it. <laughs> uh, trying to make sure everything's not tangled here. God damn it. Okay. Testing. Testing. Ah, uh, god damn it. Who's sending? Oh, I know who it is. Sorry, dude. Not right now. Uh... What do we have? I forgot what we had. We had a pistol, knife. Ah, right. We got the uh, the lockpick from uh, from Enrico. I'm gonna save this for a later area. Um. Yeah, I don't want to touch. I don't want to touch that the bow yet. Not until I have more explosive uh, tips rounds. Uh, trying to get familiarized with the controls. Did I? Yes, I did. Okay. So, uh, hope you guys are having a vent. <laughs> Sorry for the random opening. Hope you guys are having a fantastic Friday. Without any further delay, let's just jump in today's video and we'll start by heading to uh, this location here. Something is written on the memo. The first digit. Left, right. Second digit, left. Third digit, right. Fourth digit, right, right, right. You must not reset while maneuvering. Okay, that's a puzzle. Um, okay. A smart person would write that down. So the first digit is left, right. Second is left. Third is right. Fourth is right, right, right. Right times three. Okay. There is no power going to it. Turn the computer on. I thought there was no power going to the computer. You lied to me, game! Please enter the password. So the first is going to be left, right, so we got one. Second digit is left, nine. And then write three times. Nineteen seventy one.
Well, hi! Bitch! Don't you know who I am? I'm Redfield, bitch! Her brute force means everything. <laughs> brute force is the name, punching boulders is the game. Creepy house. Creepy laugh. You guys can do that. <laughs> Various books. Politics, literature, and science. Nothing useful. Is this how I'm gonna die? Fucking bats? Get off! Go up the stairs, you fucking idiot! Jeez! <laughs> oh, great start. Great fucking start. Nope! I quit hitting the map! Completely broken. I can't pass through here. Oh, finally. You can pick those up anytime you would like, you know. Only a little girl. Oh, why is this taking so long? My apologies, Alexia, but I have been doing my best. The revival of the Ashford family depends on your success, brother. I am aware of that, Alexia. I will revive the family name myself and make you the master of the glorious Ashford family. Do not worry, brother. I will handle them both myself. Who is there? Is someone at the corridor? What is it, Alexia? N nothing. I believe I must have been imagining things. Let us go, brother. Oh, boy. Large sized doll, possibly custom made. Giving me the creeps. <laughs> The more handgun ammo I can find, the better. Professional. 
The professional biology books are piled up here. History of the topic of many of these books. Oh, history. Never mind. What did I say? That's a nice bed. Message card. My dear brother, I firmly believe that the glory of the Ashford family will be revived through your courage and strength as an honored soldier. Yours faithfully, Alexia Ashford. Why is there a, why is there a terror radius? <laughs> is the killer nearby? Hmm. There are gorgeous furnishings here. Nothing usual. Nothing useful. Antique dolls are on the display here. They could be Alexia's. So we were in Alfred's room. The music box is playing a beautiful melody. Something is written on the back of the lid. Red Queen and Blue King return. The path opens. Stop the music box. Oh. Okay. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, there's an opening. Claire, you fool! Please let there be nothing in here. so it reads out data. Anyone up for a quick game of roulette? The lock has been released. You don't need the key any longer anymore. Get rid of it? Yes. Alright, fingers crossed that there's nothing in here. Ah, let go of me! Fuck! <laughs> Alright, let's do this. Here's Redfield! Ashford family's crest. An eagle grasping a gold halberd. The indigo blue plate portion appears to be made of special alloy.
Hunk's report. Hmm, why does that name sound familiar? Attention, Mr. Ash Alfred Ashford, head of the facility. Today at 163200, I arrived successfully from the Umbrella Transport Base with a large scale BLW capsule. Extreme care was taken during transport, and all 108 checkpoints were confirmed condition green in accordance with standard in accordance with standard procedures. It is currently being stored in a freezer. There is one thing I don't understand. We are normally assigned to special missions. Why were we ordered to transport a frozen capsule this time? I understand that this, may, that this may be classified as top secret, but without knowledge of the contents, our, our safety could be at risk during the transport. This is especially important if the contents are potentially harmful. We would like to ask you to provide us with more information should we be assigned similar missions in the future. I still remember the good old days that I spent here in the military training center. Nothing has changed since then. We will gear up for the next mission today at 2300. Umbrella Special Forces Unit Hunk. AKA Mr. Death himself. I know where we need to go. Uh, it's back at the military base, but there's one thing I want to check out first. It's at the prison area. Here. I, I know where it leads to, but I just want to check it out. Okay. we go. It's locked from the other side. I hope I'm doing this right. I didn't expect them to spawn back in. I didn't do anything wrong, so I was right. Woof, that was close.
Oh, it's already open. I didn't see that. <laughs> picture of this room. I don't know why I shot the tank, but... One time an explosive canister, canister actually works out in my favor. Just until we know what else we're going to need that for. But I'm keeping that indigo card. And the ink ribbons. Well, if that's the case. BOW rounds. These things are hard to come by. Let's see. BOW gas rounds. Anti BOW gas bullets are filled with gas. that he has been anatomized. He is not breathing. A body bag has been left here. Mm -hmm. 
anatomist's note. There is a demon in my mind. I can't control the fierce impulses that the demon sometimes drives me to act upon. It is a brutal ceremony. With the demon next to me, I enjoy watching people agonize in pain, screaming and convulsing repeatedly as they die. But Sir Alfred was kind enough to acknowledge me and has given me the facilities, chemicals, and equipment necessary to study everything. I must never betray Sir Alfred's kindness. It is especially critical that no one discovers the sacred place that only he and I know about. I swear, the basement of this medical building will be kept a secret. Of course, I keep the key to the sacred place with me at all times. Even if an outsider sees it, he will never be able to tell that it is the key. I must remember that my life ends when I lose Sir Alfred's trust. An elaborate model of the human body, which means I'm assuming that the puzzle is going to be an eye. Or that the key piece is going to be an eye. How convenient. Well, we found the uh, sensual dungeon. I can't say the other word, otherwise I might get deemed. And then again, I've been saying it a lot in Dead by Daylight, so we're in the sex dungeon. What about the furnace? Oh, never mind that. That's just the uh, more modern version of a fireplace. So, you know, just in case of those cold nights, you know, we have something to keep warm while we have some extreme floor, f uh, floor, extreme foreplay. Let's see, what do we have here? Okay, personally, I don't use this, mainly because it... <sighs> yes, it increases ammo capacity and it does increase your rate of fire. However, it's because of it increases your ammo capacity of your gun. Oh, these guys almost got me. Oh, I remember this fight. Okay, maybe I will need this. I, I don't want to, though. Oh, 
Well, sorry, did I interrupt your meal? six shots I guess it wasn't that bad Do I have to? No, seriously, do I have to? See, it's little annoyances like that. I think I know what this puzzle's for, but just in case, I'm gonna save, or find a safe spot. Okay, if I remember correctly, you're supposed to grab that, and then push this. The room's gonna fill it with poison.
Boy, these guys have seen better days. Uh, let's explore. What do we have? We got two dead guys. We got an unlocked door. Ooh, grenade rounds. Do we have room? Yes, we have three spaces. The albinoid description. A creature which is created by injecting the T-virus into the genes of a salamander. Characteristics. Oh god. Similar to a normal amphibian, the, albinoid, the albinoid's body will change as, a, as it grows with age. When, a young, when young, an albinoid is small in size, but it, but it can grow to over 7 feet in a very short time. Frame 10 up. Short time frame, 10 plus hours. They, pro they possess high mobility and are able to discharge electricity. These characteristics are most notable when they are underwater in their adult form. Various commands may have been given from here. Hazard breakout in the bio experiment room. Switch security monitor? Yes. He seems to be dead. Yeah, no shit. Resume with the camera? Yes. There's nothing special. Yes, camera. Alright, let's see what we have here. I want to say the passcode to this thing is 1126. The bio experiment room has finished ventilating. All right, hopefully. Yes, good. God. Okay. So it's just like the grenade launcher in Zero. You can stack up to however many the limit is.
Yeet! Okay, we'll deposit some of the stuff, get the silver card, and then head back. Greetings. You mm -hmm. must be the lovely Claire Redfield. Who are you? Let's just say that I'm a ghost coming back to haunt your dear brother. <laughs> it seems there's not much explaining to do, is there? I was the one who attacked this island. Who'd have thought you'd be hanging about? <laughs> All the better for me. Now that the cat dragged in this nice surprise, your ever so caring brother will definitely show up. I must thank you for being such good bait. I don't know what went on between you two, but you have them all wrong. My brother is not the kind of person you think he is. I despise Chris. Uh, what are you gonna do to him? some further use to me. I'm going to let you live a little longer. Whew. I should have grabbed the ammo first, holy shit. Oh, why are we cutting this close? Was it worth it? Fuck no, it wasn't worth it! But we still did it. Let's head back to the palace. Alright, let's see what's behind the gold door and uh, we'll head back to the safe room and save. <laughs> Message to the new family master. Sir Alfred, congratulations on your succession as master of the Ashford family. I hereby present to you, I hereby present you with an earthenware vase. 
vase, according to the Ashford family tradition. As you may know, this tradition first began when a butler presented a gold tea cup as a commemorative to Veronica. Uh, excuse me. As founder of the Ashford family, her intelligence and beauty are legendary. The second and third masters, Stanley and his son, Thomas, were also presented with the similar teacups. It was their hope to achieve glory as Veronica did before them. The position of the fam the position of family master then shifted from Sir Thomas to his twin brother, Sir Arthur. It then went to Sir Edward, their grandfather. That was when the Ashford family enjoyed its golden age. It was also Sir Edward's achievement that established the large chemical enterprise Umbrella Inc. However, when Sir Edward passed away, your father, Sir Alexander, succeeded the position the glorious Ashford family gradually began to sink. I sincerely hope that the Ashford family regains its glory with your guidance, just as this vase continues to shine eternally. Scott Harmon, Butler, Ashford family. Okay. A pure white candlestick. Something is written on the base. In memory of Alexander Ashford's succession. So I'm thinking teacups? I might have to come back to this one. Well, we have it unlocked, so let's go ahead and make a save point. Alright, we're going to call the video here tonight. Today, sorry. <laughs> I like to say we got a lot done on this one. If you kept up with me this far, you've enjoyed what you've seen, please be sure to hit that like and share button. Helps me get out there more and it definitely means a lot to me. If you want to remain updated for any further games that I have planned to play in the future, either with friends or solo, hit that sub button and the bell on the side. And if you have any recommendations on for what um, for us to play, uh, leave a comment in the box below. We're definitely uh, looking for some games right now, aside from some of the ones that I'm on the lookout for too. So it definitely helps us. Uh, have no further PSAs at the moment for either channel. So until then, everyone. Stay gold. Bang.